What's up and welcome to Q256. Thank you so very, very much for locking on to this video. I highly appreciate your time, your data, and of course, the effort you put in to click on these videos and also to watch them until the end. I highly appreciate you. If it's your very first time, thank you so very much for locking on on here i highly appreciate you thank you so much go right now hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are alerted each time i release a new video in today's video i am giving you a simple simple trick which you can use to add a second hard drive into your laptop so many people have got laptops especially the older version laptops that came with a cd-rom so if you're one of those people and your laptop has got a cd-rom in it you are in luck because today i am showing you a very simple way for you to add a second hard disk into your laptop so that you can have not only dual storage but expand the little storage that you have or even upgrade your main booting drive to an ssd without compromise of course for those that are going the ssd route you very well know how expensive ssds can get a 128 gb ssd can range about 150,000 to 200,000 depending on the MEC type and transfer speed so you definitely wouldn't be thinking of going for like a 512 or 1 terabyte SSD doesn't make quite economic sense yet so you can just put like a 128 GB SSD to boot your system that's why you install your drive C install your windows onto that and then you have like a 2 terabyte to run your data all in one laptop just by the help of this simple trick right diving straight let's get down here and i show you what it is i am talking about so all you need to do is get yourself an accessory this accessory that i have in my hands right now this is called a second hard disk caddy it is exactly the same shape as your cd rom drive so what you're going to do is open your laptop and screw that one bolt actually most cd roms on laptops are held on by just one bolt and let's use the special design so open that one bolt slide out your cd rom and then purchase yourself one of these this is a cd rom caddy they are very affordable because i've seen them on gg for as low as about fifty thousand, fifty-five thousand. i think the highest i've seen them for is about seventy thousand shillings you Uganda shillings that is so yeah get yourself a hard disk caddy second hard drive caddy yeah so this is what it looks like basically same shape as your cd-rom drive and now that you have your cd-rom removed from the laptop we are going to be installing this over here so what you do is one you will need to get yourself a second hard drive in my case here i'm holding myself a western digital this is a two terabyte drive uh, right here so if you can get yourself a second hard drive that would also be great because the whole point of having this is to put a second hard drive in your laptop yeah so this here would be sliding into your caddy just like that and it's already in place if you notice uh this caddy let me just remove this this caddy works this particular type that i have works with sata so this is a sata connection port right here and of course my hard drive over here is also uh, sata enabled and you can see that so this when you slide it here fits properly fits perfectly and then you push it in to lock now there are very different types of uh, hard drive caddies there are those that have screws on the side to fasten your hard drive uh, now those normally would come with a small screwdriver for you to fasten on the side uh, then there is this type that i have where the screws are at the bottom so basically at the bottom here if you notice this hard drive has got fastening screws at the bottom of it to enable you secure it properly so in this case this caddy the screws are at the bottom so you just put in those four screws to secure your hard drive in perfectly so that it does not you know we go all over the place and you know you have that secure in it now this entire setup if you get to look at it this looks exactly now the same shape as your cd rom yeah so with our cd rom out uh, you can now just slide this in place of the cd rom and you have got a second drive in there now point to note here before you go off celebrating yet you have got to remember you have to secure this into your laptop so that it does not slide out at the back of your cd-rom is a small piece of metal that sticks out at the back it's secured by one screw you just go ahead and transfer that onto here now that is what locks into the screw on the other side so that you can tie this into your laptop and it does not move 
anywhere for those that love the beauty of it you can mount your faceplate of your uh, cd-rom at the front here of course it has those uh, plastic locking points uh, on your original cd-rom so you can just pop those out and slap that on here and of course that will now look like a real cd-rom and then you go ahead and push this into your laptop now the best bit of this whole thing is there is no need for drivers there's no need for any kind of special knowledge to do this there's no need for any kind of speciality you don't have to take your laptop into the laptop repair shop to do this you can simply do it at home using just one screwdriver because basically all you're taking off is one screw right there now once this is in your laptop go ahead and boot your laptop from drive c uh, as you've always done or if you've just done a fresh installation on your drive c this one here will be read as your new drive so depending on your drive lettering it could be drive d e f or whichever drive lettering system you're using in your machine so get yourself a hard drive caddy a second hard drive caddy on gg about 55 to 70 thousand shillings save yourself the hassle of fighting with disk space or fighting with a very slow boot drive there you go quick tips and tricks for you right here on q256 thank you so much for watching this video remember to subscribe 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 hit that button right there to subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell also so that you are notified each time a new video is uploaded for now i shall see you in the next one thank you so much see ya